Hi folks and welcome back to Old School Customs. Today we're at the bottom of Hemlock Creek where it meets Tinker's Creek. And uh, we're going to walk back up in here for a ways. And I'm going to show you some of these uh, walls that are on each side of the river creek. And I think it's pretty interesting. Here's one of the falls. The size of this rock. Here you can see where the wall starts. Continues around the corner. Hobbit's Hollow is right up there, and where that other mound is. So we were standing on the Hobbit's Hollow mound, right up there. And we were looking and seeing that. So let's get a little bit closer. See right here, we're right at bedrock. And there's some shale underneath it. But this is bedrock. And a layer of shale sandwiched cobbles, ducks. Alright, so I'm right up on this little island right here. The big wading pool. Right here. I don't know, it's probably six feet deep. And the rest of this is just a foot deep at the most. A little deeper up here. You see this wall that was built. And it goes way back. Here's the back side of the wall. It's flat, flat and cobbles. And this top layer is a different type of stone. And they're cut into square blocks. So this was um, not just people gathering up sandstone and stacking it, but someone put some effort into this and the perfection of the outer surface. What you see from the inside of the creek is just 
incredible. Look at they put supports on the back side to keep the wall from buckling in. Look at the perfection of this. This was out in the middle of the forest. I mean, there's cities around here now, but there wasn't nothing around here. I'm up on top of this, looking down the face of the wall. And it is absolute perfection. I don't know how many hundreds of years this has been here, but uh, absolute perfection. Look at this wall, it's just out in the middle of the woods. No rhyme or reason. Getting bit by mosquitoes. Look at this. Oh, here's where it starts. And it comes around a turn. Here's the outside edge. Here's looking at the wall from the other way. This is where that corner was. And it just goes for no reason. I guess they're uh, trying to guide this river from heading that way, I guess. I don't know. So I'm on this little beach right here and uh just gonna start looking around for some artifacts something that was uh carved out look at this this is uh Bold out right here. You know, I I would have just normally picked up a rock like this and said, "Wow, look at that!" But like after knowing that these were fit into wood, you know, this could have easily been. And now I'm paying attention to that shape and there like seems to be everywhere, especially in this whole ravine. Tinker's Creek Ravine, I guess you'd call it. There's another one. This part would have been mounted in a stick. And this would have been the leading edge. Some kind of hammer stone. Oh, and there's our shape again. Right here. There's our shape. We're finding this everywhere. Everywhere, this shape. Here's a big one. Right there. Interesting. Here's a nice grinding stone. It's right in your hand like a glove. Grinding. Grinding grains. Nuts. This here looks like a piece of petrified wood. Grains in it. Wow. Just looking at these banks. Looking for things that are out of place. And there's the shape again. 
over and over and over the same shape. See that? Interesting. There it is again, just a small one. May have broke off in the back. This uh, rounded front been chipped off. And another one of these little grinders. See that? Take the sandstone that's layered. size of this rock. It's like a whole cluster of big rocks here, but that thing is huge. It's like the size of a Volkswagen. <coughs> I'll go take a closer look at it. Maybe there's some kind of carvings or something on it. Look at this one. It's like a quartz. Another quartzy like rock. Here's one of those rocks that I think they used as a, 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 a net weight. Look at this thing. Like a piece of pottery or something. It has a uh, that lip. Sanders, perfectly smooth, perfectly smooth. I see something over here, looks kind of purple. There's another one of these. There's an interesting rock right there. Get that notch beat out of it. Smooth. I don't think this is sandstone either. This big flat thing. Look at this. in it or something. I see this a lot. It's like covered with clay and baked. Here's another one. It's like covered in clay and baked. Cut out, and it has the face of a horse. It's got the eye. It's got some nostrils. Oh. See that? That's the other side of the plane. Oh, not like that. Look at 
this thing. It's like a fossil of something like bones. Like a spine with bones or something. It's mint. There's a shape again. Look at the shale cliff. Millions of years of earth mashed different layers of sediments. There's a sheer wall. And there's some big sharpening stones. This is flat, just a flat rock that they could have been sitting here sharpening. Another big flat rock right here. Perfect for sitting there in the water sharpening blades. I'm heading back to that big Volkswagen size uh, This rock right here. Smooth. This side is perfectly smooth. Here's a big rock from the back side. It's huge. It's got to be 14 feet long. 42 inches tall, six foot wide, and surrounded by a bunch of other big ones. It's been here for a minute, that hasn't moved. I don't see no carvings or anything. But this nice club. I got a mosquito in my ear. I'm trying to film a flower. Maybe in the fall when all this uh, foliage dies down, we'll traverse off the trail going up. The first video we made of Indian Point, we were in the wrong spot. That's like right up here. And then we actually made it to Indian Point, but we didn't like look anywhere in the woods where no one's really been before and that's kind of what I want to go look like on the side of the hill maybe find some arrowheads or something open back in there like that's where that cliff where the, the, the tree fell and took the whole side of the hill with it I'd like to really get in there this right here is that point and it goes right up I think that's where I was the first time and then there's a ravine in between here and Indian Point Yeah, we got a lot of exploring to do over here. A 
This boulder right here has been carved out at the top. Used whatever they had. Here's a flat topped marker stone of some sort. Oh, I got two mosquitoes on my arm. Alright, folks. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on my adventure. Thank you for watching Old School Customs. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and have a good day!